Hey, it's Yvonne. I'm being a good girl again today. I've got scavenger life on in the background. I'm doing some listing. I want to put in at least a good two hours because then I want to go film another thrift with me at the antique mall. Well, I made it just like I said. I did a couple hours of listing and then I'm here. So I'm going to head to my favorite booth and then I'm going to go way into the back where um, they have like more of a garage sale type thing that I didn't get to cover last time we were here. But of course, on my way to my favorite booth, I have to stop and we'll share a gander at the jewelry. This is a mixture of mostly newer stuff, costume jewelry, but it's still beautifully done. Oh boy, look at that back there. Wow. Okay, and then two more. But one of them had a bunch of Southwest. Yeah, this is it. I want to look at this, the Southwest stuff. Isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness. I really. Well, okay, oh, wait a minute, what is that? Oh, look, it's a little, vi let me zoom in on this. Let me see if I can zoom in. A little village scene on that um, Navajo pottery. Look at that necklace with a little vintage, I mean, village scene. That's cute. I wish they could show prices, right? I wish they would leave the price stick out of everything. Okay, so. Let's, let me go find my favorite booth before I run out of time and then I'll look around at interesting stuff with you guys, okay? Okay, I'm still working my way back to it and a couple things caught my eye. Oh, I just like this stuff. That's pretty, isn't it? The opalescence. I'm not sure if it's still called Moonstone or if that's specific to like what, Anchor Hawking or something. But it is the Fenton Hobnail. That's pretty. They want $19.99 a piece. I have this for sale in my store. $14.99. I have that for sale. Some Fostoria. That's the better quality of this pattern in Fostoria. I like the Fostoria. Is it Moonstone? I've got one piece of it. Okay, see, like this is the Anchor Hawking. Look, look at the difference. Okay. Let's look at the difference. See, $9.99 for Anchor Hawking, $19.99 they want for Fenton. But look at the difference. Like you can see the mold marks, the bottom's different. It's just, I mean, they're both pretty, but the Fenton is better, <laughs> right? Okay, well that was fun to get to do a comparison. Definitely fun. Oh, I'd love to have a couple little plates. Oh, I would love that but I think I'll hold out for Fenton, right? But then again, like I said, I want people to actually have fun using it, so I should probably do that in Anchor Hawking. <laughs> oh, I love that. Hand-blown pitcher. I don't have a name on it. That's some pretty little art glass, isn't it? Okay. Oh, I wish I could see the tags. I'm trying to learn about this stuff. Oh, there it is. Hall. Okay. 
and I think I learned something about tomato ware from Fatbird Finds. <laughs> Pantry Parade. Is this tomato ware? <laughs> Just like what they had? Well, they only want $6.99 for that. $14.99. Okay. The duck is still here. What are these? $24.99. Oh, Northwood. I'm learning Northwood seems to be a little bit more expensive. Oh, you can tell. I see why now. I've only looked at it online in my studies, but now that I'm looking at it up close, I see why. There's a different quality to this carnival glass or iridescent. So now I see why Northwood is more expensive. Okay, well, that was good. Yes, it's still here. Okay. I just like this one. Full of stuff. Wow, $94. Oh, a Lalique. Oh, and it still says Lalique on it. Oh my goodness, just stuck in here with all this. Oh, it's locked. Okay, now that makes sense. Locked. Okay. Lalique. Okie doke. I thought I found my first one, but I did not. So we all recognize this stuff, right? Little anthropomorphic piece for those of you that don't know that's one an animal wait a minute let's see what this is first I can't read it something Japan darn it those marks all mean something but I'm still learning but anyways anthropomorphic when you know a little figurine is like has some human qualities okay Fenton um, Silvercrest $39.95. I'm going to see if this booth is having a sale. But they always have some art glass too that I like. like there's a piece there, but I prefer not the eggs. Whoa, that's pretty. Whoa, that's pretty, you guys. Let me see what it is. It just says vintage coaster and holder set. Oh my goodness. Okay, I don't know whose that is, but that's pretty. Let's look at this, because I want to learn about this kind of stuff. Oh, I won't be able to see a mark, and they didn't do it either, so. Okay. Let's take a peek real quick. It's the other side I want. Velvet paintings. Oh my gosh, I loved the X-Files huge fan of those and then I watched um, Californication which the first time I tried to watch it I thought it was horrible but then I gave it a try and binge watched it on Netflix it was incredible this is cute $14.95 vase gourd and metal stand oh that's really cute look at that you guys oh, that's definitely vintage let's see where we're at Oh, Colorado Springs, huh? $9.95. Oh, what are you? Flat frosted vintage round. I can't remember who makes this. I saw that pattern. Darn it. I can't wait till I get a little bit more knowledgeable on this kind of stuff. But overall, I think I'm doing great. Some of that Japan luster wear, right? I did get mine listed today, so I'm excited. Somebody said conch shells. Woo! Whoever told me that was right. Look at here, $24.99. Okay, I don't remember. Was that you, Audra? Or somebody told me you were right. Okay, slowly working my way around. My favorite. That looks like Frankoma. Woohoo! Look at me go. Yes, I've got a few pieces for sale. This is pretty. It's heavy. Oh, Limoges. $49.95. I'm not sure if that's a fair price or not because, you know, it fluctuates. But I know when it comes to having a booth, that would scare me to death, right? To put out something like that, to set there. White marble, wow, that's pretty. See the base, that's pretty, you guys. Okay, here we go, here we go. 
16 or swung or stretch face. I think technically there's a difference bet between saying swung and stretch. So for a purist, there's a, I know like when it comes to eBay, some people put both and I have too, just because you know, the way people might search. But for a purist, technically there's a difference. Okay, $14.99 for that slag looking. $24.99. Oh, I like this. With the bell, uh, what do you call that? Bella Conte? Bola Conte? <laughs> the controlled bubbles? That's pretty. I don't know whose it is or anything. It's probably not too old, but I like that. Okay. $9.95. There's no name on it. Why Song? Uh, this is a name I don't hear a lot of people talk about that I watch on YouTube, but I think I've already bought and sold some of this in my four months now. Let's see, they want twelve fifty, so that name is kind of a thing. I'm just letting you guys look too. You guys know I'm partial to the just the glass that will mix in with modern stuff too but if you see something you're dying for I'll come back up and get it oh I like that hang on that's cute I'm not big on the figural paper rates but that's cute with the case like feather looking inside look yes that's pretty let's see they have some new pieces. Oh, the Summer Soul looking thing is still here. Oh, that's new. That's new, you guys. Cheese. Okay, how much do they want for that? That's adorable. Okay, I'm going to move you, little girl, just for a minute. I don't know where to... I'm going to put you over here. That... I've never seen that shape. Oh, that's adorable. Look at that, you guys. Whose is it? Let's see if I can find out. What does that say? Hmm. N? Okay, I should know that. I will here in a couple months, you guys. I'm learning all the time. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Look at that one. It's a bull. Oh, there's a little tiny. That's pretty. Oh, my mom had these in green in the 70s. Okay. It's some kind of medallion plate. Oh, that's cute. Look at this. Oh, it's expensive too. I have good taste, don't I? Vintage mid-century modern green fiberglass lamp. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Let me pull it out for you guys. That's cool, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Well, last time I was here, this case was her sale case, or his sale case, excuse me. But not this time. But there's some cool stuff in there. I've never seen this. Fire King, or what is that? Corningware. I've never seen that pattern. How much is it? $4.75? That's interesting. Look at all the little owls. Some are modern. I think most of these are modern. But that's fine. That one might not be. <laughs> okay, so I made it back to the briar. Okay. Um, so I learned this when I was looking up a figurine, horse figurine that I have for sale. It was Prussia or something. And then I learned about briar. So you can see some of these prices, 89, 41, 62, 99, 109 and they all have their names so oh that's a nice one so there you go so these some of these have really a lot of resale value look at that one with the wood grain okay so just showing you so that you know to look out for those too briar i just wanted to say hi because you're just seeing my fingers hi 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 Okay, some more Fenton, just some milk glass. 
Yeah, nice little like Moriage Dragonware. How much they want for that? $18.99. That's pretty. All right, you guys, let's go back over there to that garage sale type place. This is where we're at. It's my beautiful mountains. Well, hang on. This must be part of the same booth. Maybe they have two because they have more of the briar horses here too. You can tell. I'm not even going to pick one up. You can tell the quality though, okay? Oh, I am because this needs to be moved back. My goodness. Okay. Oh, and there's one still in the box, you guys. I've seen them in the thrift store, usually in the cases. <laughs> it new in the box, but I haven't found one yet for a good, you know, resale price yet. So hang on, they've got more salt and pepper shakers too. 50% off comic books and salt and pepper shakers. So there's more here. But they're all really expensive. So even with the sale, you know. Uh oh. But we're going to look at that. $39.99. Darn it. Look at those with the fur, you guys. Oh my gosh. Love that. Okay, I'm putting it out to the thrift goddesses or gods or angels right now. I want to find some of those at the thrift store for myself. I'm putting it out there. It's just a matter of time now. <laughs> well, if you guys see anything you know and you can't live without, lobsters always sell good. I will come back and get it for you. Okay. I've been wanting to try some of the CBD products, but there's so much fakeness, so, you know, and none of it's cheap, and there's so much fakeness. It's not real red, um, regulated, so. Okay, and I don't know if you remember their little cafe. Oh, sorry, sorry, sir. <laughs> their little cafe, it's cute, isn't it? Someone was chilling. Okay, so here we go. If I remember correctly, there's going to be something cool. Yes, there it is. Very cool. Coming up. I loved this. I want to do something like this so bad. Like upcycle. I think we should have a thrifters upcycle contest. Oh, there's one I hadn't seen. 37. Look at that. Okay. I'm going to linger because that's what I want to make. I want to make that. Last time it was an owl that I loved. $21. <laughs> Anybody want to do that? It doesn't have to just be thrifters, you know. Some of you that just like to watch, you could just send pictures and I could put it in a video. Oh, I love that too. <laughs> They've sold some. There are some different ones. Let me back up, you guys. I want to make a bird. Yes, I want to make a bird. <laughs> That's gonna happen. Uh oh, I'm working my way. But look, I'm stopping whenever I see sales, right? For us to look at. Let's see. Sugar. Royal Copley, those are pretty. That's pretty. The light's a little low here. Hope you guys can see. Peach salt and pepper shaker. What are you? Cookie jar? Doesn't have a name on it. I'm trying to learn. <laughs> so tell me what stuff is. <laughs> Made out of feathers. Oh, Barney the dinosaur. True story. In Dallas, which is where that started, Hannah was little and she had a little agent and she tried out for that show. She made it past two auditions um, when she was like four years old. Oh, look at that. Do you see it? Darn it. I can't. I'm tall and even I can't. Oh, it's a Fenton. Darn, I like that. I'd like to know how much that is. I'm going to see. I'm going to do this so I can look at it later and see. Okay. <laughs> All right. This is where I'm headed. I remember. So past my cool, like, wasteland art and then all the beautiful um gemstones and crystal there it is that's the section let's look at some pretty stuff though 209 179 
279. Pretty, huh? Pretty stuff. That's cool. Selenite. I've got a little tiny piece of that. Oh, that's a nice one. What's this cobalt? Res depression base. I think that's a little high. I'm not sure. Okay, here it is. Hey, before we get started, I want to tell you something interesting. So, this is where, okay, I just sold that atomic George Nelson clock, right? And I met her here. I said, well, I'm going to be here. Meet me here at four o'clock. I met her out in the parking lot and she picked it up. But this is actually where I bought it. If you guys watched that, it was hanging over there on that wall for $15. I sold it online for $95 and I put local free shipping for her. So, yay! Alright, so this is more of a garage sale type thing and I just, I only got to do one row of it last time. So I want to go over it more thoroughly, especially since I found something that I flipped from $15 to $95. I'm loving this. This marble onyx, onyx, seventy nine ninety or eighty bucks. Let's just say that's pretty. Twelve ninety five. Indiana glass. Oh look, it comes with a boxy harvest. Remember, I'm collecting the blue. Okay, six of nine. Okay, so seventy four dollars for everything. Is that right? $74 for everything, including the pitcher. I'm collecting the blue um, when I'm finding it on the cheap. So, because it's pretty easy to find. It's not too ex expensive. Well, I don't know what to tell you about this. Not too expensive, but that looks new. And so if somebody breaks it, you know, they don't have to feel bad. Soapstone duck. Oh gosh, I'm just having a great time. I hope you guys are too. Just look letting you guys look at stuff with me okay let's move on well nice little booth costumes Ooh, that's an old picture look at that eagle decanter what is that oh I gotta be careful tight squeeze hang on you guys see if I can see what this says oh my goodness this says blue glass eagle decanter I see mold marks it's pretty though mm, I see something five dollars so that's probably the anchor hawking right yes it's not as beautiful and it has that thing on the bottom <laughs> Jeanette, I've got one piece of that for sale. One piece of this stuff for sale. Some vintage things. Scope out the fabric real quick. $41. Hang on, let's look at this. Oh. That's somewhat of a name, vintage name, definitely. Let me put it in the light. You guys can see this is sparkly. <laughs> but that would have to be a thrift store find. Oh, some kind of inlay. That's pretty. Jewelry, jewelry, jewelry. You guys want to look for a minute? I like brooches. I've always liked to wear a little brooch. Let's 
see, I own several. Of course, the trick is to wear it with an edgier outfit, right? Oh, that's cute. not seeing anything I have to have. All right, you guys, let's move on. Okay, well, this booth is having 20% off until March, but I'm afraid to go in there. It's pretty narrow, but let's see. Here's the good stuff in the case. Interesting, huh? All right, let's try it. Hang on to my purse. Go slow so you guys can look too. So I know some of you just like to go shopping. <laughs> Not even resellers or collectors. You just like to go shopping. So I need to go slow for those people. Oh my gosh, it's so narrow through here, you guys. Oh, little nesting hen. I think $24 is a bit high. Another one. Hummel or Gobel or Hummel. I think they're connected somehow at some point in time. Some high end prices. Are they still a thing? I'll have to look into that. I don't know if that's still a thing. you have a hole in a lid oh boy I wouldn't set that on there look some wood inlay 70 bucks that's pretty you should set someplace else let's set you over here I bet you your owner didn't set you there <laughs> in England copper finish oh this booth is so tight you guys here I'll let you look at a few things but I'm getting out of here Let's look at this booth kind of industrial 25% off everything just for fun let's look at this they've got old stuff let me back up General Electric old refrigerator are we allowed to open it oh yeah <laughs> never seen one up close yet just when I watch American Pickers on TV Mike and Frank But if you wanted to make some kind of industrial thing, here you go, $600. It's cardboard. We're just looking, just $250 old pedal tractor oh my oh my I don't love I have mixed feelings about this kind of stuff you guys I don't know what to say I have mixed feelings wow look at that telescope you guys it's like seven feet long Oh my goodness, look how cute you are. Oh my gosh. $4.95, look at you. $700, that's cool too. Viking hat of some sort, yes, Viking hat. <laughs> that's what it says, $265. Well, that's interesting stuff. I just don't know how I feel about that kind of taxidermy. I can't make up my mind. Okay, this will be the last booth because they're closing in 15 minutes. So I just picked one. We're back in the main section now. So I just picked one that has a sale. See if we get lucky on something. 50% off. This is a Tonella. That would be $5. That would be $5. 
That might be workable. And this time I'm going to say goodbye, you guys. <laughs> I'm not just going to ditch you and just leave. <laughs> I'm going to actually make an outro that says goodbye. Talk to you later. In the pond. That's a, I've never seen one like that. $9. It'd be four fifty. I wish the paint wasn't coming off because that's interesting, isn't it? Interesting pattern. Make sure I don't miss anything. This is our last booth and we got a chance here because it's 50% off. Frank Oma. Okay, so they can take malls, vintage malls, whatever. They're fun, but they're just still not my favorite. I mean, I'd rather go to a good garage sale, community garage sale or thrift store, right? But it is fun to come every once in a while. Okay, well. Oh, look at that. Wait a minute. Let's leave on an interesting note. Okay. That's cool. But look at this. These chairs where they wove belts. Man, and some of those belts are good too. Oh my gosh. But that's an idea, right? Look at that. That's cool. How much? 120. Handmade belt chair, 175. And there's another one. Okay, well that was a fun note to leave on, right? Some nice macrame pieces. Harley Mama. <laughs> okay. That was fun. Oh, is that one of those crazy quilts? Oh, I hate to even touch this kind of stuff. Like, all of us touching it can't be good over time. But we gotta find a price on this. I want to know. These have value. Only 33 silk patchwork blanket. Wait. Okay, I'm going to put you guys down for a minute and check that out. I'm seriously thinking about that. I don't know how old it is or if it's just made to look old. But anyways, it's pretty cool regardless. And even if it's like a repop, which I'm using that term loosely in this situation, I still think that's worth more than $33. I'm not sure. It's a pretty large size. I'm going to look at that, but I wanted to say goodbye. I'll show you one more belt chair. <laughs> and let me find a mirror to say goodbye to you guys. Oh my gosh, who has a mirror? <laughs> so I can I would find a mirror. Okay, bye you guys. I'll see you later on one of your videos. <laughs> Thanks and have a great day.